Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, what is the Fourth Amendment's warrant requirement? Before I can answer that question, it's important for us to understand what a warrant is. A warrant is a court order that authorizes a law enforcement officer to conduct either a search, a seizure, or an arrest. The warrant requirement is found in the Fourth Amendment to the United States Constitution, and verbatim reads as follows. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. The United States Constitution was written in 1787, it was ratified in 1788, it became effective in 1789, and its first 10 amendments, collectively known as the Bill of Rights, and necessarily including the fourth and its warrant requirement, were enacted in 1791. At that time, our newly founded country was celebrating its independence from the British Crown, and this included any of a number of whimsical dictates by King George III. But for our purposes, most especially a little ditty known as the Writ of Assistance. This writ was effectively a generalized, non-specific search warrant that was routinely issued by the British government and then executed upon colonial soil. The Fourth Amendment's warrant requirement was specifically intended to serve as a check valve against this sort of totalitarian action by establishing an absolute presumption of illegality for any such search, seizure, or arrest if it was performed without a pre-existing and valid warrant. But it also constructed a constitutional protocol by which warrants would necessarily issue. In order to secure a lawful and valid warrant, sworn facts must first have to be presented to a neutral and detached magistrate, who then must conclude that those sworn facts establish probable cause before issuing either a search or arrest warrant, which itself must be strictly tailored or limited to the place to be searched, and to the person or things to be seized. In the 230 plus years since its inception, the fourth has been interpreted, modified, and many exceptions to the warrant requirement have been carved out. That said, I thank you very much for your question. I appreciate your having asked it. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.